<laughs> Today, I'll show you three cool things you can do with your old whiskey bottles. Let's get it popping. How's it, how's it guys? It's dirty. So, about a year ago, I switched to basically strictly bourbon. And I try to stick to Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. So, and I have a whole bunch of extra bottles and a lot of actually a lot of Blantons because that's one of my favorites. So I had a bunch of these bottles and I mean, they're just, they're so nice. So I wanted to kind of see what I could do with them to, you know, reuse them because I have a bunch of them laying around. So went on Amazon and I scored some, some different things that you can do with your bulk bottles and kind of reuse them. And these are things you can do without cutting them too. Because of course, if you have a bottle cutter or even like um, I use my knife grinder and as long as you use like ceramic media, you can grind off the bottle actually. So you could do that too. But all of these require very little modification if some of them don't even require any. So first, of course, we'll start with this Blanton's bottle. Super nice bottle. I did take off the label I was trying not to, but as soon as it gets wet, it just falls apart. So if you did want to keep the label on there, I'd recommend you use like some Mod Podge or something to protect the like waterproof the label. But since I wanted to turn this one into a little light, I kind of wanted the label off anyways. And like I said, the bottle is so nice and the stopper is pretty um, recognizable to most people. So. so what I did with this one is I got these Love Night bottle cork lights Let's see them. they just look like a little fake cork and they have a string of lights led lights on them on and off switch so what i did was they fit um in other bottles pretty well and it you know kind of looks like a cork but i wanted to keep the stopper on the blantons because you know they look really cool so what i did was you can see basically this thing almost fit into the bottle. So what I did was I had to sand down the little switch here just a little bit so that it would fit inside the bottle. And what I did was I cut off the end of the Blanton's cork and then glued it to it. If you are going to do this at home, I would say you want to cut. There's actually a little metal rod that's in the middle of this cork and it goes down, I would say about half an inch from this, from the base of this. So I cut mine a little bit short, so I had to add a little bit extra glue in there. So if you do cut it, go about half inch down, cut it, and you should be right at the base of that um, little stem, I would say. Either way, I just threw some hot glue on there. You could, of course, do some kind of epoxy or something also. And then it just fits right nicely in there. Let's see, turn that on. Try to get some night shots with these so they look a little cooler. But yeah, super cool, you know, way to reuse some of your nicer bottles or decanters. So it's a real simple one. Like I said, I mean, you don't really need to do any modification, but I just wanted to keep the nice the stopper on there, the cork, it looked really nice. So something you can do. These usually fit if you were to put in a regular wine bottle or like um, this Eagle Rare bottle is pretty much the same size as a wine bottle. It'll fit in there and, and stop itself. You don't, you know, it doesn't, you know, there's no way you're gonna shove it all the way in there, so. It looks cool too. This one took a little bit more modification, but came out pretty cool. Um, so this is a Buffalo Trace. It's one of my favorite whiskeys to drink just, you know, everyday kind of thing. It's, you know, it's super inexpensive. I mean, it's a, it's a good price for an excellent bourbon. So if you're looking for a starter bourbon, I definitely recommend this. Normally it has a paper label on it, but I took it off. Luckily it has this really nice um, painted part or silk screen part in there. So. Take the label off it looks a little nicer and this one so kind of messed up I got these um they call them like soap dispensers or whatever but the cork that comes with them is huge i don't even know what kind of bottle these would fit in um even some of the bigger bourbon bottles i had even like the um the blantons or i had this um hancock's reserve this one has a little bit bigger cork but it doesn't even fit in this one so i don't know what Kind of bottles these people were thinking of using for this but so if you do have a really wide mouth these would work perfect if not uh, i didn't really i couldn't really use these so what i did was i just took a regular 
buffalo trace. Luckily it's wood and cork and you know, it looks nice. And then I just drilled a half inch hole into it. So it is a little tricky. Here's the first one I did. Thing went off a little, went off center. I tried to like use a ruler and try to find the center and stuff. And there's a way easier way to find it. And as you can see, it was a little off and yeah. And I tried to, stupidly, I tried to just use my hand to like put it onto the drill bit and ream it out a little bit. It's pretty dangerous. Probably could have lost a finger or something, but luckily I didn't. Well, and as you, if you can hear, we got some, uh, some sirens in the background. Hopefully, oh, first of the month are hurricane sirens. So if you're going to try this at home, one of the quick ways to, and an easy way to find the center of this cork is you can kind of see right in the middle. There's like a, it's probably where they used like, you know, whatever they made used to make this like a lathe or something. Um, you can kind of see right in the center there, there's like a little spot. So that's your center. And that's how I did this the second one that I did and it came out really nice. As you can see, like I said, I tried to ream it out so it fit all the way down. Um, but it's a little bit fatter at the top over here. So if you had, you'd probably need like a machinist drill bit or something else to get more of an exact measurement. Um, as if you've ever drilled anything, your half inch drill bit is slightly smaller than half inch. So it's kind of tricky like that. But it's kind of cool that it sits up higher because then you can still see all the words on it. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna leave it. It looks cool. Another thing I had to do was the stem was too short for basically any of the bourbon bottles I had. So what I did was I just got some 316th. Yeah, I got some 316th uh, vinyl tubing just to extend it so I can reach the bottom of the bottle. And yeah, then it came out really nice. Like I said, um, luckily this bottle, you know, has the painted stuff, especially for something where you're going to use like soap. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, you know, water around it. You're going to want a nice painted bottle or you're going to want to do that Mod Podge or something to waterproof the label if you want it to stay on there. But yeah, this one came out really nice. And I like the kind of the wider base, kind of keep it a little more steady, I think, you know, so. I mean, you could, you could just leave this with the bourbon in it and do like little pump shots, you know, and Vegas style blow the whistle, stuff like that. And last we have this Tiki Torch. So I just bought a bottle Tiki Torch kit. Um, super simple. The only thing about it is you have to just make sure that your bottle will fit these brass inserts into it. Um, some of them like, so far the best bottle I found was this Eagle Rare. I'm pretty sure like the E.H. Taylor would probably work good too. Something that, you know, kind of matches this, like a wine bottle, I've noticed. That's the cork, I think, that they modeled it after. Um, it does not fit. Uh, it, it fits into a Blanton's, but it'll drop through. So you'd have to put bigger O-rings or fatter O-rings or something on there to make it work. Um, and also, it, did, it didn't fit in the Buffalo Trace either. It was a little bit too tight. You could fit it in without the O-rings. So same thing, you might have to look into some, you know, a thinner O-ring or something like that. But um, the Eagle Rare came out really nice. Super simple to do. I mean, you just get your in the brass insert, you throw the O-rings onto it, then you um, thread in your wick. And the wick has these plastic ends on it. And I wasn't sure if you need to cut them off or not. And when I looked up other reviews, people said that they didn't cut it off and they just left it. So I'm gonna try that and see if it works out okay. You just thread it through a little bit. I think it says a quarter inch. So it's kind of a little bit more than that, but we'll see what happens. And you want to leave the fuel in there for 24 hours. It even comes with a nice little cap so you can extinguish the flame. And it kind of, you know, keeps it somewhat weather resistant if you're going to have it out in the weather. Um, one thing, this bottle is very uh, top heavy. It is a slim bottle. So I'm thinking about making some kind of base for it. We'll see. But yeah, there's super easy things you can do. And like, you know, if you have some really nice bottles, um, a lot of these decanters, bottles, whatever you want to call them, are really nice, you know, they just look nice. You could even use them. I've seen people, you know, just put water in them, you know, it's kind of cool just to have, I'll put it on the table if you have guests over or something. Uh, one of the other cool things, I don't know, it's kind of random, but when I was drilling these, you could smell the whiskey, you could smell the bourbon, um, like once it reached into the cork which was pretty cool. It kind of gave off this real nice bourbon smell. So it's it kind of trippy. Anyways, just wanted to put out a video kind of showing um, something you can do 
with some of your old bottles, you know, just to recycle them or upcycle, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, awesome week, just, you know, keeping it, keeping your hands clean. You know, if you need a big extra big bottle of soap, got a nice bourbon bottle there. Like I said, you can just leave the bourbon in it. It's dirty. Shoots.